I'm Dr. Jeff Miniker, and today we're gonna explore the science of fossils and extinction. Fossils are so amazing, and there's so much they can teach us. That's right, Izzy. A fossil is the remains or traces of plants and animals that lived a long time ago, even millions of years ago. Dr. Jeff, how do plants and animals actually become fossils? Great question. Let's break it down. When living things die, they usually leave nothing behind. But sometimes they die in a watery environment and become buried in the mud. Once buried, skin and muscle break down leaving only bones or shells behind. Over thousands or even millions of years, sediment builds over the top and hardens into rock. Then, something like erosion brings the remains to the surface, where scientists called paleontologists can dig them up and study them. Too much work if you ask me. And no one ever asks me. Fossils can be made either from the actual remains of a living thing, like bones, teeth, shells, or even leaves. Or they can be preserved records of a living thing's activity. Like footprints, bite marks, or even poop. Wow, so I leave fossils like that like three times a day. Um, TMI. To dive into this a little deeper, I think it's time for a... Field trip! Hey kids, you wanna watch this whole episode and more, tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all science topics in grades three to five, and you get to watch it in class. But only if you tell your teacher. <laughs>